Good morning, or should I say, happy Halloween. Uh, it's me, Wussy, here with Richard. Uh, today we are becoming puppy parents. Woo! Uh, which feels like it's been a long, long time coming, doesn't it? It just feels like ages. So we are officially going to pick up our puppy today from a service station of all places, which is very 2020 with COVID and everything going on, so it's actually very safe. Um, but yeah, so we're going to a service station, meeting there at nine o'clock, um, and we are collecting our F1 miniature golden doodle. For anyone who doesn't know what that means, um, her parents are golden retriever and a miniature poodle. Um, so together that makes a miniature golden doodle. They look like teddy bears, they're super cute, um, but also they've got all the traits and personalities that we, we really want in a dog. Uh, but yeah, we're really, really excited. We've never owned a dog before. I feel like we've spent the last month, month and a half, just constantly watching YouTube videos, learning, reading. Literally. We've kind of transformed <laughs> everything we can. We're working on puppy proofing everything. We've still got probably more puppy proofing to go, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, but yeah, so today we will pick up uh, our puppy and her name is very Disney um, so she's going to be called Minnie which of course is very apt because she is a mini golden doodle but also Minnie Mouse hello uh, <laughs> although my mum did say she's quite worried that uh, Minnie will think she is a mouse and not a dog so that's mm. something that we have to make sure that we um, we, we work on uh, but yeah let's go let's uh, let's go get her We've got a few things that we're going to take with us for the car. So this is a fleece um, that we found online. It's really, really soft and we thought she can have that while she's sitting on Richard's lap and that would just be really comfy. And then we saw this and thought this was super cute. So this is her first ever teddy bear. Um, so that can, um, he can kind of sit with her. And then also this is a chew toy that we thought if she wants to chew on anything, then why not have this? This is a milk flavored chew toy. Um, in case she's thirsty, we've got some water and we just press this button here and some water will go in there so she can drink from that. So it's like a little uh, drinking bowl as well. And then these are so cute. So this is a uh, harness for her with, um, with the bow on it. But then we're probably going to use this collar first and hopefully everything's going to fit. Uh, and then also a matching leash. So that looks really cool, really stylish. Um, safety for the car. So uh, this is a actually a seatbelt for a dog. So we will be using this um, to attach to her collar so that then she is um, all safe in the car. And then some boring things. We've got some dog wipes in case we need them. We do have a potty pad for her for the car and also a towel just in case she sick or unwell so just if we need to clean anything up we've got that
Hello, my baby. Hello. Come on. Yeah. Welcome to Cinderella's coach house. This is where you live. It says, here you live today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow and fantasy. Come on, Minnie. I'll show you around. Oh, this is the kitchen. Some cool things. What do you look over here? Oh, what's this? So we have Minnie here and I've never felt this kind of love before. It's just crazy, it's overwhelming really. I had a big old cry in the car when I was driving back with her. It feels very surreal, uh, but in the best way possible. Um, the journey was about just over an hour and she actually was really, really well behaved. So she didn't, she wasn't really shaking. She wasn't crying or anything. It was. The perfect journey really we did have one little incident um about 45 minutes in um most of the time she was lying like this and then she just kind of came up um came up on richard and i joked saying oh i bet she's doing a wee uh, and that was supposed to just be a joke but then he looked and, and she did <laughs> so it's okay so one little accident in the car but it's all good and yeah so we've now brought her to her playpen area and we're going to introduce her to the playpen so she's never been down before let's see what she thinks here you go Minnie here you go it's okay it's okay got some water over here if you want some water And you can see here, this is her collar. This was the smallest one that we could get with this really cute bow. And it's it's too big, uh, but it's fine. You're supposed to kind of be able to squeeze two fingers in, but I can I can definitely get all, all four fingers in there. So she'll grow into that. But of course we can't take her out anywhere at the moment. She's a bit damp underneath, I can feel, from where she's had a little accident. So we will clean her up. She's a little bit damp, but she's just beautiful, beautiful. Um, and I think the process now from what um, all the YouTube videos I've been watching is we just need to give her some time just to adjust to her new surroundings of course at the moment she's just left home for the first time doesn't have a clue where she is she's only met me once we met her when she was four weeks old um, and she was tiny um, and she's so much bigger already I mean she's she's tiny now but she's so much bigger than than when we uh, when we first met her, so um, yeah, give her, give her some time, make her feel welcome, make sure she's got everything she needs, we've got plenty of toys, we can get out one at a time and see which ones you like, um, yeah, and obviously feed her, look after her, give her water, give her plenty of love, plenty of attention, and just go really patient. Uh, today's Saturday, so we do have um, all day today, uh, and of course we've got all of tomorrow as well, so we've got a full weekend uh, and then I work from home anyway, so um, so we're going to be with her all the time, give her plenty of attention, plenty of love. Oh, look at her coat, she feels so soft, really is like a teddy bear, which is what I love about miniature golden doodles. Have a sniff around. Oh, we're out the way a bit. What do you think? What do you think? Hello. Hello, I love you so much.
while Minnie's really getting used to her chew toy, she's now um, properly kind of taken possession of it. And she's just having a little relax on the blanket, chewing away. She didn't show any interest in it in the car, but now she does. And she's really biting down using her back teeth and really biting like this is a chew toy from Pets at Home and it's milk flavoured. Mmm, delicious. And she's loving it. She's really loving it. So first time trying to entice her to go into her crate. She's a little unsure, but she really is. <laughs> she she's wants... loving playing with with her chew toy. But we are going to be using using the crate here um, to to crate train her. So this is where she will sleep, and also it's where we're going to be feeding her, giving any treats or anything, just so she loves it. So we want the crate to be her favourite place to be. We've put in her teddy bear, and then also the blanket that came from the breeder. So that's got the scent of her mum, Lily's, to uh, really help her feel comfortable. But yeah, she's still loving this bone it's all hers this is the um, food that we got given uh, by the breeder so this is what she's been having at the moment life stage grain free uh, it's puppy food and it's poultry flavor so we're going to start using that and then we will work out if we want to keep using this or potentially move over to wet food or raw food uh, we're going to kind of work that out as we go along uh, but that's the food that came um, from the breeder and then also we have the healthcare card here so from reading this we can see that she's had some um, had some vaccinations that's all dated and also we now have her weight so as of yesterday she was 4.1 kilograms um, which is really useful to know so already I look on the back um, look on the back here and this is the expected weight of the dog so she's already above one to four kilograms so we're expecting it to be anywhere maybe around 10 kilograms we're not sure so she could be this one or she might go bigger to that one so I'm going to start off following the guidelines for this I'm going to imagine that she's going to be 10 kilograms and of course then we'll just keep an eye on her weight and see if that's right so because she's two months old uh, we're going to feed and um, anywhere between here so I'm going to aim for 170 grams um, each time we feed her. According to what I've calculated that is her meal so we're actually going to hand feed her so the pieces of this I mean they're tiny um, so we're going to hand feed her and using them as treats and a bit of training. So rather than using actual treats, we're going to hand feed with the with her you know, breakfast, lunch and dinner. And that way we can train her and we're going to do this in the crate. So we want her to love her crate and, and associate the crate with the place where magical things happen. Minnie is not too sure. We're trying to tempt her into the crate. Okay, oh, she's coming in. And then rewarding her. Yes. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Rewarding her with um, her food. So I keep saying treat. Her treat is actually just her food rather than separate treats. And we want good to keep rewarding girl. her for being in there. Yes. Good girl. So Minnie is in her crate properly for her first time. And I'm just rewarding her. Here you go. Yes. Oh, you dropped it. There you go. Good girl, good girl. We've got her mummy's blanket, the yellow one we've given her, which she's been obsessed with. Got some toys in here as well. And we're just getting her nice and settled so she knows that this is where she can sleep, it's where she can play, where she'll get fed. So this is the best place for her to be. Uh, it's really important in the first few weeks to make sure that she loves her crate. So it's never used for punishment. It's always used for where good things happen. So that's what we've learned. Um, and that's what we're trying to apply here. So we want her to love this so that she feels really secure and safe. And that's going to really help us 
in the months to come and the years to come that if ever we need to leave her on her own she's really comfortable being in her crate and she feels extra safe and she's not going to be barking and crying anytime she's left so we want to get her used to being in here as much as possible that's our goal right now and she's doing really well Like this, Mickey. Yes, good girl. Mini. 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 Yes, good girl. Good girl. Mini. 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 Yes, good girl. Good girl. Mini. 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 Yes, good girl. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Come on then. Come on then. Mini. Sit. Good job. Sit, Mini. It's when you do that you think she's got a treat. <laughs> Mini. 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 Sit. Mini. Sit. Good girl. Just out the back we do have a little astroturf area and I'm just going to spray that with puppy aid. So apparently if I spray this down it will give off a scent to help her know that this is where we would like her to go to the toilet. So let's see. There we go. I'm going to put a lot on, especially because it's raining at the moment. Um, I don't know if the rain's going to wash it away, but we're going to bring her outside, put her on here. She may or may not go, and then every one to two hours, we will bring her out here. And hopefully, she will start to learn that this is where we ideally would like her to go. So, toilet training from day one. Good girl! She just went, she just did her first wee outside on here. I just missed it. Um, but I noticed she had her nose down, she was sniffing around, which is the telltale sign. And unfortunately, I was too busy watching. Um, yeah, and she, she did her little squat and she did a wee. We haven't had a poop yet. Minnie, did you go wee? Good girl. Good girl, good girl. Well done. Well done. Yes, well done. She's had two naps. We're now into the early afternoon. I think it's about one o'clock, half past one. She's had two big sleeps. Um, we are struggling feeding her. We've been, we're feeding her as much as we can, but she's not showing too much interest. And this is using the food that she's been having. But she did get her vaccination yesterday, so she might not be quite as interested. And of course, she's still adapting, but um, she has been getting better with being interested in the food. So I think it's just her adjusting to everything. This is the first time that we've tried using the puppy Kong. So we've just put a bit of her kibble, a bit of her dry food inside and we're just trying to demonstrate that there's food inside it. And if she pushes it around, rolls it around, things will fall out. Yeah, so like I said, just using her normal food rather than any special treats. It's her first time and she's doing really well. And she's now also biting on it too, which is exactly what it's made for, so that's really good. So she's having a good old chew on that, trying to get those treats out. To be fair, I'm just really glad that everything's working the way it's supposed to. When you see other people's dogs doing it, you think, oh, please, please say that my dog's going to do all the right things too. And she's being a complete superstar. Oh, she's really getting the swing of it now. Yes, Minnie. She's getting them out. Give it a push. Yes, it worked. <gasps> yeah. Is it? Yes. Good girl. Well done. Does that taste good? Well done, Minnie. Really proud of you. Doing so well. Huh? Did your paw catch it? Yes! Minnie! Minnie! Look! Oh, look 
colour, just a cute teddy bear. 4.1 kilograms. What did we say that was in pounds? 9.77, I think. Like 9.77 pounds. Yeah. So if anyone's wondering, that's her weight. So she's not 10 pounds yet, and we don't know what she will oh, become. Oh. Yeah, come on, there's more. Push. <gasps> yes! Woo! Well done, Minnie. Just look how she's so soft. And it is like a, a teddy bear where the hair's just, just a little bit longer, you know, which is exactly what we wanted. But I think this is her puppy hair, so we shall see what her adult hair becomes, but hopefully something like this. <laughs> yes, Minnie! Yes, Minnie, good girl! There's some water. <laughs> Crate training is going really well. This is the, I think the third time when she has willingly just taken herself into her crate. She's got her little bone there, given a little chew. She's had quite a few naps in there. And what we're doing is each time she falls asleep, we're just gently closing the door. So every time she wakes up or if she stirs and changes positions, she's used to the fact that the door is going to be closed when it's sleep time. So we're just really making sure that she feels really comfortable and it seems to be working so far. Oh. Back. Hello. <laughs> hello. Did you want to say hello to everyone? Minnie. Minnie. Say hello. Look at your tail wagging. She's done a wee or a poo, but she squatted. Well done, yes, good girl. So now we've got her puppy Kong and inside here is kibble, uh, some of her dry food, her normal dry food, uh, nothing extra. Uh, we've put in a bit of water in there, this has been in the freezer and this is peanut butter. Um, so the peanut butter has gone harder too, so we're going to put that in, uh, see if she wants to chew it, see if she's like licking the peanut butter and if she can get to the kibble, let's see if she works this out. Minnie, Minnie here you go, here you go, what's that? Oh. Is that nice? Ironically, I'm actually allergic to peanut butter, so <laughs> just making sure it stays away from me. I can touch it as long as I don't eat it, it's fine. 
she looks like she's loving it. Let's see if we can get her into a sit position. Sit! Not working yet. Get a bit closer, come here. Sit. <laughs> Not ready. Or maybe I'm doing it wrong. So now we've got the slow feeder out and we're just going to try putting some of her kibble in around here. I feel like she's not eating as much as we want her to just yet given the allowance that we've poured out so let's just put some in here see how she gets on the slow feed I don't know if her breeders had her use the slow feeder yet but she's still there oh she's still going she's back on the Kong now she had a little break so um, we might come back to it we might use the slow feeder when she looks like she's finished with that hello Minnie hello Okay, so we're going to put this down. Here we go. Here we go, Minnie. What's that? Let's see how she gets some of this. Let's see if she can work big. it out. It, yeah, it might be too big. We don't know. She can smell it. Can she work out how to get the food? There's her little snout. Going to be an issue. Oh, she's got some. It's working. So a slow feeder just means that your puppy's not going to gobble all of the food up so she can go slowly. Oh, maybe she's struggling. But you can go slowly with it and it just means they don't eat all of their food too quickly so it's a much better way of eating for them. Obviously she's been licking all the peanut butter yes. on the Kong but she's not got to the inside of that. And uh, yeah, we're going to keep working on the slow feeder. Hello. Hello.